Good morning everybody, today I've come out here to shoot the forest in the rain. At least that was the plan, but for some reason there's blue sky coming out here and I do not know why. Even the sun, what the heck? It was supposed to rain this morning, that's the only reason why I'm here. <laughs> it's sunny now, um, but we're gonna be in the forest so I don't think it should be too big of a lighting problem, I, I think it'll be fine, so let's just see what we can get. So, I started off into the forest right here where I had parked because it seemed like there was something like a trail here. It wasn't really a trail, it wasn't signed or marked in any way, but it was obvious that vehicles had passed this part of the forest before, maybe some forest workers or so, therefore I decided to check this path out. After some time, I came to this open area where I spotted my first composition. I was trying to capture the sideway light that was hitting those trees at the back and frame these cute yellow flowers in the foreground. This is the result. I think it worked out quite nicely. As you can see, I cropped this photo to a 1 by 2.35 CinemaScope aspect ratio to simulate the feeling of this image being a still frame from a film. The composition with its layers luckily functions just the way I had imagined, so I'd say we're off to a good start. I continued to walk deep into the forest and found this patch of light here, which I thought could be an interesting scene for a photograph. This is it, and I think it's beautiful. The patch of light gives this scene a sort of magical touch. There's one thing, however, which I think would really enhance the photo. If I had a model with me who could place themselves in the composition and become part of nature here, I imagine the photo could be outstanding. Can you more or less imagine what I mean? Okay, so... I wasn't really planning to come to this forest here specifically, I didn't really have a plan at all, but I just saw that there was this little path going in here, but now the path is kind of disappearing and this nature here just looks so untouched and I, I feel bad about stepping into it, so I think it's better just to turn around here and find an official trail further down that road we came from um, and continue there. <laughs> but I think I think I might have got some a, a good start here. I'll just go look for a trail that has actually thought for me. So now this here definitely looks more like a proper trail, so I went up this way and decided to get a simple photo of the path. This composition I got both in a vertical and a horizontal version. Here's the vertical one, and I think it's okay. It doesn't really attract me though. It's just a picture of the path. I can't really find something specific that makes the photo interesting for me. Similarly, the horizontal version isn't much different, although I do find this orientation to be more pleasing for this composition. The wide frame emphasizes the size of this forest. I continued my walk through the forest and eventually found a hideout, which I thought could be cool to photograph from a distance. The photo turned out alright. I don't particularly like it though. I think it's a bit boring. This is just a simple shot I got of the pile of wood there. I also shot a couple photos looking down from the hideout. This first one is a simple straight photo of the forest with some nice subframing by the hideout. I enjoy the composition I was able to find here. 
I also got this shot from this slightly different angle, which I think works really nicely too. This is what I got, and I'm really liking this one. The composition seems to abstract the forest to something less natural and more geometrical somehow. The trees look more like shapes in this composition rather than actual trees. I got a very similar composition on this side too, but I prefer the first one because this effect of abstracting nature seems to work better in that one. So it was time to move on from the hideout and I was walking along here where I was noticing so many ferns around me and one particular one stood out so that I wanted to photograph it. What I wanted to capture here is a close-up of some leaves which were surrounded by ferns which all seemed to point at those leaves which created this naturally immersive composition. Here it is and I think it works quite well. And then I came to this place here, from where I could see a part of the mountain up there. At that moment, the light had this really harsh quality, which somehow was aesthetically pleasing. Looking at the edge up there and the trees, I could really picture a black and white photo of that rock in my head, so that's what I tried to do. Here's the result. I think it's quite okay, nothing outstanding, but the dramatic vibe I had envisioned comes across. Next, I had walked down here where I enjoyed this scene of the forest. It looked so peaceful and again a little magical. I got this shot which, as you can see, I went pretty hard in the editing. I decided to give the scene this romantic and magical look which I think fits the scene really well. Then to my right was a tree trunk peeking out of some leaves here which I thought looked pretty interesting. This is the photo, and it's sadly not quite what I was aiming for. The composition turned out a little aimless. Walking down this place, I found this cute little stream of water, and along it I came across these huge leaves which covered the stream. I got low with the camera and shot this photograph. I really enjoy the unique low perspective here. I think it works really good thanks to the big leaves, which seem to enhance this effect of the viewer being tiny. Wow, oh wow, these leaves are huge. Now I wanted to get another top-down detail shot of the plants here, similar to the one I got of the ferns. I like the outcome. It turned out to be fairly different from the photo of the ferns because this one doesn't have this concentration towards the middle of the composition. Instead, this photo feels quite balanced across the whole frame. Next, I found this small log lying on top of the stream, and at this moment, the sunlight was shining quite intensely, adding a backlight to the log. Here's the photo, and as you can see, I went heavy with the editing here. I was inspired by some photos I recently saw while researching the cottage core aesthetic, which had a soft dreamy look with a warm pink tinted colour atmosphere to them which I tried to use in my own way now for this photo and I think it fits it well. Right after that, I pointed the camera back to where I just came from to make use of the backlighting again and try another dreamy edit. This is it and I think it also works. As I walked a little further and looked back again, I decided to try the same shot again, but from this position, because I thought the composition would work a little better from here. And indeed, I think this one has some more depth thanks to the trees on the sides which act as the foreground. Next, I came to this small hill of branches and a couple logs. 
I thought maybe I could set up the camera on the tripod to capture this scene as a wide shot and place myself somewhere in the middle of it, posing in some abstract way. They felt pretty pretty terrible though. <laughs> oh, let's check this out. Okay, that isn't too bad. Looks a little strange though because you can see that I'm absolutely not flexible. So it looks like I'm trying a bit too hard. Looks a little strange. <laughs> uh, I'll try a different pose. All right, so this second round also didn't become much better. Um, doesn't look so good. And I think this is the moment when I should actually have a model and not just do it myself. But I'm here alone, so whatever. I'll just do the best with what I have. That is me. And uh, yeah, it was fun experimenting. So yeah, I think this second attempt works better than the first one, which just looked a little bit strange, whereas this one looks a bit more natural. And that brings me to the end of this episode. This was the last photo of the session. I hope you enjoyed tagging along today. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments, which is your favorite of the day. I have to admit, I found it quite hard to choose a favorite from this day because none of them particularly stood out for me. They're all okay or good, but not really good. Nevertheless, if I'd have to choose one, I'd go with this photo, which I like for its abstract qualities. So that's it for this week. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like. That helps me to grow this channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.